Who am I looking at you, the camera? Be looking right at me. All right, good. All right, we're now joined by UTRGV men's basketball head coach Lou Hill. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm great. Good. And practice began a couple of weeks ago. How was that? Up and down, you know, it was early. <laughs> you know, like all the coaches say, we always want more, but going good. We finally got a good uh, full team. I've been practicing with six people for the longest, so <laughs> nobody's going to feel sorry for you. So, you know, I'm good, though. I know you guys had summer practices, which does that help kind of coming into regular practice now with the season starting up? It does until everybody gets hurt. <laughs> but no, it does. It does. It gets you, get your head start and things. No injuries, right? No, Not we, yet. Yeah, we got injuries. And it's best to have them now than later. That's very true. Can you update us on that injury list? No. <laughs> we'll keep that off the record yes. then. Uh, let's talk about the program success. I mean, first year you were here, you got 10 wins. Second year, mm -hmm. 15. Third year, 20. What can we hope to see this year? Hopefully 25? No, you're not getting me in that. <laughs> well, my, when I first came here, that's what I wanted to do, plus five every year my first three years. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to do. That was a goal of mine. And then now is to maintain and to try to elevate, but at least to maintain where we are in – Ultimately, the goal is to win the tournament to go to NCAA. So, and what's that like to watch your program continue to grow and succeed? It's awesome, you know, um, just to watch where we were when I first got there to where we are today, and just even the players are different. You know, obviously each year you want to keep recruiting better players, and the university is growing. So I think we are growing, going in the same direction, which is up, hopefully. Continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Texas Tech and OU on the schedule this year. How do those type of games make you stronger? I don't know if that makes me wise to schedule them. But, <laughs> but no, it, it's good. It's good for our kids to compete against high-level competition. Um, we played both of them last year as well. So I think we competed against both of them fairly well. You know, we didn't – obviously we didn't win, but – our guys went out and competed, and that's all you want them to do. Go out and let them know that you compete against anybody if you just are prepared and you go out and give it all you have. And then Javon Levi, breaking records like nobody's business, defensive player of the year last year. Can we expect him to break some more records this year, do you think? I hope so. Um, he's, he, does, he did a wonderful job for us last year, but I'm challenging him, challenging him this year to keep improving, you know, to – uh, people still not talking about them enough, but they should be talking about them defensively all over the country. Mm -hmm. But to get better offensively, you know, be more efficient, make quicker decisions, but excited about where his growth is and, and where he is today. I'm happy to hear. I will now open it up to the media for questions. Coach Kyle McDonald with Wack Hoops Digest. Um, there's a couple of JUCO transfers you brought in this year. Can you talk a little bit about uh, – What's their names? <laughs> you got Chris Freeman and Rob McLean. Um, looks like they put up some pretty solid stats. One was a Juke All American. Talk about maybe the impact that they're going to have coming in and competing for you right away. Well, with Rob, we hope he just he brings us a, a big time athlete, run a jumper, uh, could guard multiple positions, which we like, obviously. Um, so we're excited for him to come in and help us on the rebounding and scoring. But you know, he'll score a little different than Chris will. But Chris is very skilled, you know, uh, really good defender because I recruit defenders, obviously. But um, Chris really can shoot the ball, and we expect them great things from both of those guys. Like all conferences, the WAC has been greatly impacted by the high uptick in player transfers. How difficult is it to combat all this player movement, and what are you doing to adjust? Well, first year I came in, I, I brought in four freshmen and got my head beat in. <laughs> so, you know, you got to do as they do in Rome. So we got to bring older kids in, JUCO kids, transfers. That's the way the business is going. So you got to adapt and adjust. But I still like to bring freshmen in to groom them and to, so when they become sophomores and juniors and seniors that they're really good. But, you know, if you can't bring in a whole host of freshmen anymore, not at my level, not at our level. Coach, last year you had your first WAC tournament win and mm -hmm. your first postseason win. What, is, mm -hmm. what does that experience do for your team this season? Hopefully it gives them confidence that they could do anything that they set their mind to and, and that we prepare for great things. You know, we don't just talk about it, but now you got to go out and deliver and, and, and just play your game and just hopefully expect to win every time you touch the floor. 
Uh, kind of talked about some non-conference schedule. You play at Oklahoma this year. Mm-hmm. You face off against Long Kruger, who, of course, you worked with for mm-hmm. uh, a long time. What will that game be like for you returning to Norman? I'd be very emotional. You know, I haven't been there and played. I haven't um, really been back since I left. Um, so it, it's, it, it was Oklahoma was good to me and my family while we were there. But going back and to bring my team in, hopefully they prepare and hopefully they go out and compete and just – Showing what Coach Krug has shown me, and and it'd be exciting though, it'd be exciting. So I enjoy things like that. How how difficult is it to recruit to Edinburgh, considering where it's at, location? Not necessarily, you know, a, a big school per se, but you've seemed to gotten over your three years. You've gotten athletes. You've got guys that have, have impacted your program, and continue to 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 help that that success that you have. How difficult is it to recruit those guys to that? To the UTRGV. You know what? When I took the job, people seriously thought I was crazy. They was like, you're just coming off a Final Four run. Why would you take this type of job? And and if you know my background, nothing in my life was ever easy. So I, when you say hey, I can't do something, I say you I can't do it. So And when I took it, I said I would never make excuses on why I didn't get it done or why I got it done. So and that's how I live my life. I don't make excuses of any way, I don't, anything. So guess what? I could get players anywhere. So that's how I feel, you know, and, and that's the type of staff that I want around me. And I tell my players we make no excuses ever in life because life's full of adversity and adjustments that you have to make. So that's how I do it, you know. So And I portray that to our team because that's how I live my life. Real simple. Let's figure it out. Uh, you have a few players to replace, but you return Joan Levi, Leslie Varner, Jordan Jackson. How will the identity of this year's team differ from last year's team? Uh, we'll be probably more guard oriented. You know, last year we went through, everything went through Terry in the post and on the elbow. This year we probably shoot more threes, attacking more, changing up our defenses. But, you know, we live and die from defense first. And we want to even push the pace more this year. So I think we have more athletes and more runner jumpers that could run a little more than I did last year. And we had one of the fastest teams in the country, not just in our league, but in the country. So I want to speed it up even more. The WAC is really a guard-heavy league this year. What are your thoughts considering, like you, like you said, who you have coming back against what everybody else has coming back at the guard positions? Well, I tell them they got to match them. They got to match them and exceed them. You know, let's go. You know, I always go with our guys. Like, you got to be as good or better. You have to be as good as better. And I start naming, I won't name them in front of you guys. You got to be as good as better. And if we d- match that intensity, preparation, and, and, and the intelligence of the game, then we'll be fine. You know, so we got to do more every day. We got to get better every day. Can you talk about the growth of the WAC as a whole? Uh, and the improvement over the past four years? Uh, I think it's really grown. I mean, first of all, we have really good coaches in this league, you know, um, probably coaches that not known nationwide, but are really good coaches because, and I've been at all levels, but we have some of the best coaches in this league that probably don't get enough recognition. I think the league doesn't get enough recognition. So it's grown tremendously. I mean, The players have gotten better and and the competition is harder. You know, I mean, when I first came in, we was a, everybody come in, kick our butts, but now not anymore without a fight anyway. You know, so, and I think everywhere you go in this league, it's a a hard out, you know, so we just got to get, keep getting better as a coaching staff and, and keep getting better players. All right. Thank you, coach. And thank you, Coach. Yeah, we appreciate your time. I know you're headed out of here very soon, so best of tra- best of luck with your travels as well. Okay. And best of luck this season. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, All right, guys. next up is UTRGV's Lane.